Hey guys, it's Sam and welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I am going to be telling you how to make a pet safe food eye or paint. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the colour red, but if you want to make any other colours you can just take the corresponding fruit or vegetable, um, mix it up, separate the pulp from the water and use that. For example, you could use a carrot to make orange. But today I'm going to be showing you how to make red and I might show you other colours in the future. So to make red you can either use a strawberry, a tomato or any or maybe even a cranberry. Um, but today I am going to be using tomatoes. So I just have the vi cherry vine tomatoes and I'm just going to... Um, I've already half my tomato but they usually just look like this. Pretty sure everybody out there knows what a tomato looks like. And you're just going to cut up your tomato and you want to cut the inside of the tomato so that you get the um, seeds and stuff. And then you want to pop that on into your bowl, um, your mixing bowl. Now usually if you were using a nulla fruit or vegetable you would use water but since tomatoes are naturally very watery you don't need to. So then you should be left with the kind of skin of tomato and you should have your seeds and the kind of pulp in there. So then you're just going to um, cut the skin of the tomato up as finely as you can because this is going to make the next step a bit easier. So I'm just using my knife and I am just going to cut up pieces of tomatoes. But if you are a young kid, you might want to get your parent or adult to help you with this. Another alternative to this would be to use vegetable oil based food dyes. Um, as that is usually um, good for this. So I'm just scooping out the pulp from the yellow tomato. You can just cut out the tomato without taking out the pulp, but this is usually a bit more messy and a bit more watery. So just doing it without this is a bit better. If you're using a carrot or a harder fruit that you might not be able to mash up, you can also use a blender. I just have a tissue here that I'm using to dry my hands. Okay, so I have my tomato all in here. Now I'm going to take a small fork or a utensil of your choice and you are just going to want to mash it up. You might want to use a bigger pot even if you're only making a small amount of food colouring just because of... Um, just because you need to be able to get your utensil in here. I've used quite a small pot so I have to use quite a small utensil and that's fine if you have a small utensil but if you need to use a big utensil I do suggest you using a big pot. You can also use this with vegetables that are maybe about to go off or if you have any vegetables that are left over from your dinner or anything like that you can um, recycle them and make your hamster a nice paint. This could also encourage your hamster or small pet to um, to chew on their chews a bit more. So I am just mashing it up. Um, this is a sort of fainter more red, well as if you used a strawberry or another type of berry. Um, it might be a brighter colour, but I only have um, tomatoes and some other colourless fruits and vegetables in the house just now so I'm just using a tomato but you can feel free to check out other youtubers ways of making paint and you can see what they've done okay so it should look a bit like this a bit watery a bit more runny than a usual tomato um, and then basically you can just take your paintbrush and you can just use this straight on if you want to separate the seeds you can also put it through a strainer and this might also help get some of the excess pulp out or you know if you decide that you don't want it anymore and it's not the right color for you you can always eat it or give it to your hamster as a paste 
I do recommend if your colour doesn't turn out not to waste it and either eat it or spread it on one of your hamsters chews if it's one of their favourite vegetables and this might encourage them to chew more. Um, but yeah this is basically how to make a paint um, I might be using this in one of my videos upcoming and um, this is what it will be. So if you are up to watching some more of my craft videos, maybe you could decorate your own by using this method of paint. So I'd like to thank you all guys for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe down below for more content and make sure to comment. Bye guys, thanks!